Now to start working with our new model and our new data, we could of course go to the admin py file and make sure that the author is part of the admin dashboard. We're going to do this later, but I also want to show you some of the queries and some of the commands you could execute in Python code, because also later in the course, we are of course going to write more code in the views and so on to work with our different models. So you should know how to write the Python code for combining models and for working with related models. And you should not just be aware of using that interface because that interface of course does all that Python logic behind the scenes for you and you don't see it there. Hence, I'll bring back that shell here, that interactive shell. And there we now wanna import from the, uh, from the book outlet models file, we want to import book and author. I'll import both models. And I then want to start with creating a couple of authors because we'll need authors to then in a second step create books. Because now we depend on authors in our book models. We have this relation. So we can create a new author here, for example, JK Rowling, by simply instantiating author. And then as you learned it earlier in the course, you pass those field values as keyword arguments to the constructor. So we can set first name here to JK. And I know that she also has a long form here. I'm just going with the short one here to save time. And set the last name to Rolling. Now this, as you learned, didn't save her yet to the database. Instead to do that, we need to call save on this JK Rowling variable and on this object in memory. And now this offer was saved to the database. And we can confirm this by reaching out to offer objects all and listing all the objects we got. And here we see one author object and that is probably her. We can verify this by accessing this first object by index and printing first name and we see JK. So that worked. Now let's add a book and let's assign it to her. For that I'll add Harry Potter 1 and create my new book by instantiating book. And now again we need to pass all those fields as keyword arguments. Also the slug now because we removed that save method which automatically populated it because it normally gets auto populated by the admin page. Since we're not using that here, we now need to assign a slug manually. That's just a side note. So here for book, we now can set the title to Harry Potter 1. We can add a rating of 5. We can set is best selling here to true. And we can add a slug which could be Harry-Potter-1. But of course, we're all there for the offer field. What do we set as a value here now? And the cool thing about Django, again, is that this is super simple here. We don't need to find out which ID this JK rolling object has in its database and then assign the ID here. Instead, we can just point at JK rolling. So at this object we created earlier. And it's now actually not the full object that will be stored by Django in the database instead of the book entry, but instead Django will pull out the ID of JK Rowling in the author's table. So of that data entry in the author's table. And it will just assign and store the ID in the author field of the book in the book table. But for us, we don't have to care about that. We just point at the object and let Django do the heavy lifting. If I now hit enter and I save HP1, Harry Potter is also saved to the database. We can also verify that by querying all books and here we see Harry Potter 1. Now what can we do if we want to find out which name the author of Harry Potter 1 has? Well. The cool thing is that now that we set up this relation, we can also conveniently query across models. So if we want to get Harry Potter and store it in a new variable, we could use the existing one, but I want to show how querying works. So I'll store it in a new variable. 
We can of course get access to Harry Potter by reaching out to book objects and then either we use all and the first item since we know that this is the Harry Potter book or of course get to find it. And then we could get it for example by title and search for Harry Potter 1. And now Harry Potter is stored in the Harry Potter variable. Now this Harry Potter object gives us access to all these fields. And what happens if I type author here? Well then Django automatically gives me that author object. It queries that author object from the authors table. Again, I want to clarify that the object wasn't stored in the books table. It's stored in the authors table. But when we access author, Django automatically queries that author table for that author object, so to say. So that's how we can get access to author. And then of course on author, for example, get access to first name or to last name. So we can work with that author field on Harry Potter in a very natural way. And we as a developer don't have to worry about the fact that it's actually a related model and a separate class. We don't have to worry about that at all. We can use this very convenient way of accessing the data.